Rayasima is a region of the Andhra Pradesh coast in the Bay of Bengal. A sprawling expanse of lush and verdant green, it is framed by the deltas of the Krishna and the Godavari. These two rivers have deposited sediments at the bottom of the ocean floor, creating a reservoir of crude oil. Rubber, the Telugu word for diamond, is the first offshore asset in India, with a private sector partner as operator under a production sharing contract. Initially estimated to hold reserves of about 100 million barrels, Rava has produced more than 220 million barrels of oil. KN came to Rava in 1996 when it acquired Command Petroleum and took over as an operator. The partnership with industry leaders ONGC, Videocon and Rava Oil Singapore has been a huge success. Government revenue from Profit Petroleum has been in excess of 4 billion US dollars. When the government started the liberalization process, the Panna, Mukta, Tapti and Rava fields were put up on offer. We decided to participate in the Rava project. It was the first project to be developed in the private sector. It's been a fantastic project for all parties concerned, the government, the partners, as well as all of CAN employees. There's been no looking back since then. When the Rava JV took over production, there were just two platforms and four producing wells. Now, there are eight platforms, 33 wells, and a single boy mooring facility for loading tankers directly for dispatch to refineries. The subsurface team has acquired excellent quality data and applied advanced modeling and seismic techniques to improve the understanding of the rubber field. A new seismic survey was acquired over the Rava field in 2000 using the ocean bottom cable technology. Advanced processing techniques were applied to build high-resolution earth models of the Rava field which helped in successful reservoir management. With the application of technology, we have more than doubled the reserves estimates in the Rava asset. We have implemented a series of initiatives with global leaders as partners. All the field development campaigns deployed innovative drilling and completion technologies. Technologies like TCP underbalance perforating with multi-zone completion were introduced at Rava for the first time in India. By allowing access to multiple reservoirs from the same well bore, this initiative ensured efficient reservoir management. Another innovative technology was the expandable sand screens. The wells in Rava are prone to sand production and applying this technique has helped sand control over multiple reservoirs. This has ensured better well production capacity and has also brought in significant cost savings. All of this yielded results beyond expectation, from a mere 3,500 to a peak of 50,000 barrels per day. The rubber block's operating cost per barrel is also amongst the lowest in the world. We are now at a stage when we need to arrest decline and optimize costs in the rubber field. The rubber joint venture is once again actively considering opportunities for increasing production through well services, further infilling and work over. The rubber JV's focus on maximizing production is complemented by strict health and safety regulations. The maximum lost time injury-free performance in rubber has been 1,357 days. The employees along with the local community are trained in emergency response procedures. The joint venture also focuses on preserving the environment through tree plantation and using renewable sources of energy. 
When we began 15 years ago, our vision was to develop Rava as a world class asset. We have done this by leveraging the strengths of people, partnership and technology. The baton of leadership passes on, but the journey continues with the same zeal. People are indeed the strength of Rava JV. Team members are trained and encouraged to upgrade skills and educational qualifications and they are empowered to take decisions and think out of the box. Rava is home to many success stories. Kundala Rao, a local resident, first came to Rava as an untrained apprentice. He is now a painting supervisor. The JV's CSR initiatives are well recognized and it was awarded the Teddy CSR Award for its micro-vendor program in Rava. As we continue on our journey, we salute our partners and our people. New frontiers beckon as India strives to achieve energy security for her citizens.